Happy birthday to legendary hip-hop artist and former member of G-Unit, Lloyd Banks. X-Man 1991, back again with another sports topic. I'm trying to hold my laugh because we have a baseball team that fucking sucks right now. They just got their asses swept by the Texas Rangers. So, I'm going to tell y'all who I'm talking about tomorrow. But until then... Let's go ahead and do a recap of Game 6 of the Western Conference quarterfinals between the Sacramento Kings and the defending NBA champs, the Golden State Warriors, where the Warriors led the series three games to two. I believe the Warriors won by Deuce in the first quarter, 25-23. to 23. But they lost by nine in the second quarter, 35 to 26. But they would still lead 61 to 58 at halftime. Warriors lost by Tress in the third quarter, 32 to 29. The score was tied at 90 after the third quarter. Warriors lost by nine again in the fourth quarter, 29 to 18. Final score. Sacramento Kings 118, Golden State Warriors 99. The series was tied at three, and my recap of game seven is coming tomorrow. De'Aaron Fox was the player of the game with 26 points, four rebounds, and 11 assists. He needed six more rebounds to go with a triple-double. Keijan Murray needed eight more assists to go with a triple-double. 15 points, 12 rebounds, and 2 assists. Alright. Last but not least. We're going to do a recap of this past Friday's Game 6 of the Western Conference quarterfinals. Between the Memphis Grizzlies and the LA Lakers. With the Lakers leading the series 3 games to 2. Where is it? Where is it? Right here. The Lakers killed this whole game. Not just the first or the second half. The whole damn game. They destroyed the Grizzlies. They beat them by 9 in the first quarter. 31-20. to 20, Then by 6 in the second. 28-22. to 22. Lakers would lead 69. Or 59-42 to 42 at halftime. Then they beat the Grizzlies by 16 in the third, 30, 41 to 25. Lakers would lead 100 to 76 after the third quarter. Lakers won by. They won by seven in the fourth quarter, 25 to 18. Final score. Los Angeles Lakers 125, Memphis Grizzlies 85. The Lakers wins the first round of the playoffs four games to two. They advance to the second round of the playoffs. Yeah, buddy. And you all should know who is the player of the game. Well, pardon me. It was not LeBron or Anthony Davis. It was D'Angelo Russell. 31 points, 2 rebounds, and 4 assists. Anthony Davis needed 9 more assists to go with a triple-double. 16 points, 14 rebounds, and 1 assist. So you will find out when I do a recap of Game 7 of the Warriors and Kings tomorrow who will be facing the Lakers. Yeah, that's about it. And you will find out why was I laughing because there was a baseball team that got their asses swept by the Texas Rangers. You'll find out tomorrow when I do a recap of today's of this weekend's three game homestead between the Phillies and the Astros, a rematch of last year's World Series. A recap of game one of the Eastern Conference semifinals between the Heat and the Knicks. 
in Game 7 of the Western Conference quarterfinals between the Warriors and the Kings. Those are the games I'm doing a recap on tomorrow. But now, I got to do a recap of the entire 2022-2023 season of the Houston Rockets. I got to do this now. I don't want to wait another week to do this shit. So give me a moment. I'll be right back. All right. So the Rockets won three preseason games. October 2nd against the Spurs, 134 to 96. October 7th against the Raptors, 116 to 100. October 10th, they lost to the Heat. 118 to 110. And October 14th, they won against the Pacers, 122 to 114. Now we're going to do a full recap of their regular season. October 19th, they lost to the Hawks, 117 to 107. October 21st, they lost to the Grizzlies, 129 to 122. October 22nd, they lost to the Bucks. 125 to 105. October 24th, they beat the Jazz 114 to 108. They lost to the Jazz two days after 109 to 101. October 28th, lost to the Trailblazers 125 to 111. October 30th, they lost to the Suns 124 to 109. Halloween, they lost to the Clippers. 95 to 93. Then they lost to the Clippers again November 2nd, 109 to 101. Lost to the Mavericks November 5th, 129 to 117. They beat the Magic November 7th, or excuse me, they beat, lost to the Timberwolves November 5th, 129 to 117. Then they beat the Magic on November 7th, 134 to 127. Lost to the Raptors, 116 to 109. Lost to the Pelicans, 119 to 106. Lost to the Clippers, 122 to 106. They beat the Mavericks, 101 to 92. Lost to the Pacers, 99 to 91. Lost to the defending NBA champs, the Warriors, 127 to 120. They beat the Hawks, November 25th, 128. To 122 and the Thunder November 26, 118 to 105. They lost to the Nuggets November 28, 129 to 113. They lost to the Nuggets again, 120 to 100 November 30th, and that's when I was done watching them for the rest of the season. Cause they were sucking ass. Gonna get lost back to back games to the Nuggets. December 2nd, they beat the Suns 122 to 121. Then they lost to the Warriors 120 to 101. They beat the 76ers 132 to 123 at overtime. Second overtime, that is. They lost to the Spurs 118 to 109. They beat the Bucks 97 to 92. They beat the Suns 111 to 97. They lost to the Heat 111 to 108. Lost to the Trailblazers, 107 to 95. Lost to the Spurs, 124 to 105. Lost to the Magic, 116 to 110. Lost to the Mavericks, 112 to 106. They beat the Bulls on Kwanzaa, 133 to 118. Lost to the Celtics, 126 to 102. Lost to the Mavs, 129 to 114. Lost to the Knicks on New Year's Eve, 108 to 88. Lost to the Mavs, 111 to 106. Lost to the Pelicans, 119 to 108. Lost to the Jazz, 131 to 114. Lost to the Timberwolves, 104 to 96 on January 8th. They lost back-to-back -back games to the Kings, 135 to 115 and 139 to 114. They lost to the Clippers 121 to 100 January 15th. They lost to the Lakers 140 to 132 on January 16th. Lost to the Hornets 122 to 117. 
They lost to the Timberwolves January 21st, 113 to 104, but they beat them two days after, 119 to 114. They lost to the Wizards, 108 to 103, and the Cavaliers, 113 to 95. They beat the Pistons, 117 to 114, January 28th. February 1st, they beat the Thunder, 112 to 106. Lost to the Raptors, 117 to 100. Lost to the Thunder, 153 to 121. Lost back-to-back -back games to the Kings, February 6, 140 to 120. February 8, 130 to 128. February 10, they lost to the Heat, 97 to 95. February 13, lost to the Sixers, 123 to 104. They lost to the Thunder, 133 to 96. To the Warriors, 116 to 101. Lost to the Trailblazers, 131 to 114. Lost to the Nuggets, 133 to 112. Lost to the Grizzlies, March 1st, 113 to 99. They won back-to-back -back games against the Spurs, March 4th and 5th, 122-110, to and 142-110. to They lost to the Nets, 118-96. to Lost to the Pacers, 134-125 to at overtime. Lost to the Bulls on Pharaoh's birthday, 119-111. to They beat the Celtics, 111-109. to they beat the Lakers on Mike Henry and my godmother's birthday, March 15th, 114 to 110. And I bet Mikey had the best birthday present ever. Beat the or Pelicans on St. Patrick's Day, 114 to 112. But they lost to them two days after, 117 to 107. Lost to the Warriors, 121 to 108. To the Grizzlies, they lost 130 to 125. Lost to the Grizzlies again, 151 to 114. They lost to the Cavs, 108 to 91. Lost to the Knicks, 137 to 115. Lost, or oh, they beat the Pistons. They lost to the Nets, 123 to 114. Then they beat the Pistons, 121 to 115. Lost to the Lakers, 134 to 109. And the last three games. They beat the Nuggets 124 to 103, the Hornets 112 to 109, and the Wizards 114 to 109. All I can say about this, I'm glad that Steven Silas got his ass fired and he's no longer the Rockets head coach because we got a new head coach for next season, and I guarantee you the Rockets is going to get back to a winning streak and back to the playoffs. Same with the Texans. Now we got a better quarterback. C.J. Uh, Strout, and a better Texans head coach, D'Amico Ryans. This year is definitely going to be the year for the Rockets and the Texans to get their shit together. I just can't wait. So that's going to wrap up Game 6. My recap of Game 6 between the Warriors and the Kings and the Grizzlies and the Lakers and a recap of the Rockets' entire 2022-2023 season. Shout out to Mike Henry, Jamie and Katie Filer, and the host of the Just a Little Shady podcast, Haley, Jade, and Brittany. A link to their YouTube pages will be in the description down below. I will do a recap of the entire Chicago Bulls season from the 2022-2023 A recap of the Bulls 2022-2023 season sometime this week. If you're new here, hit subscribe and hit that notification bell for my next Warriors, Rockets, and Lakers rant. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and leave your comment down below. I'll be back later tonight showing y'all that Stone Cold Steve Austin returned at the 2000 Backlash and helped The Rock beat Triple H for the WWF Championship. Until then, go Golden State Warriors, go Los Angeles Lakers, and go Houston Rockets. See you next season. Play stupid games. Win stupid prizes. No more talk.